We have an electron with an initial kinetic energy of 100 electron volts, which corresponds to an initial speed of 5.9 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. The electron is then accelerated through this region of 250 volts. We need to find the final speed of this electron. By far the easiest way to tackle this is not to use the initial speed of the electron whatsoever, but to think about energy. If an electron is accelerated by a potential difference of one volt, it will acquire one electron volt. If it's accelerated by 250 volts, it will acquire an extra 250 electron volts. It already had 100, so this means that the final kinetic energy of this electron will be given by 350 electron volts. And we can directly set that equal to a half mv squared. Let's rearrange for the speed, so v squared will be equal to 350. Let's convert that to joules. If I can see the E, I multiply by it, so it'll be times 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19. Let's bring this factor of 2 here. And then we're going to divide by the mass, which is 9.11 times 10 to the power of minus 31 kilograms. And let's square root this entire expression. And if we do that correctly, we're going to get around 1.1 times 10 to the power of 7 meters per second second, meaning that the correct answer is D. Multiple choice questions are really important, but to ensure that you have a flawless exam technique, you need to practice six marker questions as well. And that's why you should look at this video next, which covers up a really difficult six marker question on electricity. Click over here.